What is up guys, Killer Kevin, and today back with another episode of Skyrim Mods, and today we're going to be showcasing a samurai armor, which is kind of cool, I'm not going to lie, I don't know the exact name of it, because it is a little bit hard to pronounce for me, but obviously if you want this mod, it is down in the description below, make sure to go and check it as well, also as well guys, I have linked the Nexus Mod Manager as well, so go and check that one out as well, you're going to need two as well for them to work, so without further ado, let's jump in here, I'm at obviously Outside, I can reach here, next to the Skyforge, which we make all our 90... Well, pretty much 90% of our stuff outside of here anyway. So we're obviously going to come down to steel. As you can tell, it is in here. Now, the detailing on this does look pretty damn cool. Obviously, I'm just showcasing the armor through this. Obviously, if you want a samurai or any sort of other uh, Japanese or any other corresponding weapons to go with this, is unfortunately not going to be in this video. It's just showcasing the armor through this. But obviously, if you are looking for weapons to go with this, aka samurais, then obviously we are going to be covering those on Skyrim very shortly. Oh, if not, if you're viewing this video, video at a later date than it's already been released today then uh, it's nine times out of ten probably in the playlist so make sure to go and check that out as well so what we're going to do is make this obviously as well there's not a lot of requirements to make this obviously leather straps steel ingots and iron ingots not through and not bad throughout that and i'm pretty sure it's throughout that through the whole set of each of these pieces of items which it is which is not too bad and the helmet is the most intriguing thing out of this whole entire thing and i am hoping the helmet does actually have a, an incredible amount of detail and it doesn't shove my big fat nose through the actual appearance of the mouth guard here so or the nose guard shall i say so let's have a look as we speak so let's climb around to the front here as you can tell the armor detailing is awesome let's stop here for a brief second as you can tell my nose doesn't peer through it but also as well which caught my eye which is actually the shoulder piece here which you can see is sort of like a little i'm not too sure that is a little fox or a little tiger or something i'm not too sure what that is but it does look very nice nice and glistery as well which does look pretty damn cool uh and well, yeah it has lived up to my expectation it does look pretty damn cool uh throughout this it does look very nice it kind of looks like a dark iron with some sort of a as you can tell there's a lot of shiny bits on this i'm not too sure what that actually means but there's a lot of shiny bits on here as you can tell the the detailing on the helmet is awesome as well throughout the horns and the pattern all the way from the front to the back here as well it covers the nose which is awesome a lot of textures or a lot of mods throughout helmets obviously i don't know why but it obviously pokes hands through uh, like when we did the iron man mod it poked our hands through and as well on another mod as well i think it was the oh what was it called the fountain guard mod i think through the mask on that it actually poked our nose through the actual cloth as well so i'm pretty cool this has held everything in to a certain degree but yeah it does look very cool i'm not gonna lie it looks very dark as well uh, fluent wise it does look very nice as you can tell by the paddles or sort of not the paddles the armor sort of down at the bottom half there it does move as well it's not static which is obviously great but uh yeah you know it does look very good i'm not gonna lie uh the, as well the detailing on the face there just between the sort of bridge between the nose and the cheekbone there's a lot of detailing there throughout that mouth guard as well does look very nice detailing on the chest there obviously on the peg section or the nipple section looks pretty good obviously the tass as well to hold the chest in as well does look very nice so overall i'm very impressed with this it does look very nice and uh, it would be great with a samurai or any other sort of uh, Japanese war weapon. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy, hit me up with that like and that comment. But until the next one, guys, get a get it and get a get out.